your hands together for our friend Randall Odin. Yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? How we doing? Awesome. I just bought this shirt today, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. 100. percent I can't get the vibe right. I don't know. I feel like I look like a gangster from the 50s. You know, just like. Oh, it's either that, or I'm like the slightly edgier version of queer. I'm like, what's up? I'm here to change your life. I'm gay, but I love NASCAR. What's up? <laughs> Ready to ride, bitch? All right. <laughs> I am from Florida, so that fits me very well. Oh, what? You think you're better than me? Just because... Uh, what? Really? Fuck you. Just because you haven't had several pool parties ruined by alligators? <laughs> That's a Florida humble brag way to say, hey, I had a pool. <laughs> Florida's such a weird state. It's like the only state where if I meet somebody else from Florida, we both think less of the other person. <laughs> Bad decision, bro. <laughs> it's a cool spot. I grew up in the suburbs, and uh, it's cool. My, my, uh, my dad, he's from Compton, which we've all seen the movies, the place sucks. But he became like a really successful businessman, and those two identities clashed like all the time. Like, he's the only guy I've ever heard say, y'all niggas gonna finish this caviar or what? I'm like, all right, like, <laughs> like, we went to an opera together. Middle of the opera, he leans over, he's like, man, these bitches can sing. I'm like, how fucking you make this song? <laughs> this is the most unprofessional shit. <laughs> it's crazy. And he's like, now he's retired, and he's also got like hard left politics. Like he called Ma Martin Luther King a pussy when we were growing up, which is, Insane. It's because we were like a strictly Malcolm X household, you know, just like that's our guy. And now he's retired. His politics are like at the forefront. Like in our dining room, he used to have his painting. It was like it's like a nice field. And now it's a poster that just says "Stay Black and Die." I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> like we're the only black family in this neighborhood, so now we can't have dinner guests. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. I grew up around uh, a lot of rich liberals, and they're great because they're like really ashamed of all the money they have. <laughs> I feel like rich liberals created the idea of checking your privilege so they could brag in a socially acceptable manner. It's like, yeah, I'm a white, cisgendered, heterosexual male with a lot of family wealth, fat tip, full head of hair, and you know what? Uh, that's just something I'm going to have to learn to live with, all right? <laughs> the worst people. God damn, I hate Florida. It's also like so racist. The most racist thing I ever heard was in Florida, which was a guy who said that this was back in the day, my family would own your family. I'm like, nigga, you could never afford my family. <laughs> you lease a Ford Focus? This is a bad financial decision for you, bro. I'm the most expensive thing in the state. <laughs> And I moved up, to, uh, I went to high school in Jersey, which is just the, the Florida of the North. I get, no <laughs> I get no respect anywhere I go, dude. God damn it. Like, hey, I'm a northerner. No, you're fucking not, dude. <laughs> Keep your ass on the other side of the bridge. <laughs> in high school, I, uh, I was on the football team, and I was also on the dance team, so it's like a Spike Lee directed high school musical, that's me. <laughs> and movies always have the jocks as the bad guys, which like, sure, but theater kids are vicious assholes. <laughs> I remember I would leave football practice to go dance, all the football players would call me a fairy, I'm like, whatever. But then I would leave dance practice to go study my playbook, and all the dancers were like, oh, you're gonna huddle up with your boys and fuck each other? I'm like, what the, what? <laughs> what the hell, dude? I thought y'all were gay. It's like, we are gay, but we're also bitches. <laughs> <laughs> now, please, I'm like, I hate I hate high school. Why is everyone so mean to me? I love dancing, dude. I just love it. It's my favorite thing to do. It's really hard to love dancing, but also like not like talking to people at parties. Because it gives off very conflicting signals. You can't just be like breaking it down by yourself. Like, <laughs> do not fucking talk to me, all right? This is for me. This is my thing. <laughs> Don't leave. I I need all of this. <laughs> My ideal party is me just dancing, everyone sitting, watching, and not saying a fucking word. <laughs> it's my ideal party, and I just get a little dance away. Goodbye, to talk. <laughs> that was fun. Now I'm in New York. It's a fun, uh, it's a fun weird place. I have a job. I'm a, uh, 
I'm a writer for a hip hop documentary, which sounds like a job of racist would just make up for a black person. <laughs> it's truly how I make money. And I've learned so much about hip hop. One thing I realized is that there's zero consensus in the hip hop community on what a gun sounds like. <laughs> it's insane. It's like, bam, boom, blah, blah. Somebody's wrong. <laughs> What are we doing? What is this? I also realized why I love hip hop. It's because it's just the cattiest genre of music. It's the only genre that has diss tracks, just hot gossip on a record. That's amazing. Like if classical music had that, I would love it. Just Beethoven, like dun 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 dun. Mozart has a secret family with a French whore. Like, oh my god. Good song. If every if every orchestra just ended with damn, I'll be like, I'm going to more orchestra. It's the best genre of music I've ever encountered. Holy shit! I feel like I'm hurting him. <laughs> ah! It's like getting things out. It's like this isn't even about. This is the only place I can scream, and it's socially acceptable. <laughs> It's okay. I laugh like a Japanese schoolgirl, so it's okay. It's like, yeah, that's why I don't date that much. This way, uh, I know this doesn't seem like a big deal, but like, I can't, I can't say the word pussy comfortably. Yeah, I know, but it's just like girls my age talk so dirty. They're like, oh, what are you gonna do to my pussy when you get home? Well, first I'm gonna clean your mouth that was so by. <laughs> Jesus. It's also hard because I love sexting and uh, I like receiving, but I'm not like good at sending sexy texts. I just wish I could outsource that to a dude in India who's just like fucking filthy. <laughs> <laughs> just like sends, sends dirty shit to her all the time. <laughs> <laughs> then we meet up, we have sex for real. She's like, yeah, you're not as good as this in person. But, uh, you know, I'm more like a writer than a performer, you know? <laughs> It's also strange, sometimes I'll get a sex when I'm not horny, and it, sexting when you're not horny really feels like you're just like ghostwriting for a different person. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, like what, what is his voice, you know? Like, I, I want to drown you in my cup, that's insane. No, no one likes that. What the fuck about that? It's fun working at that documentary company. I don't know, that's not what I want to talk about. This might be weird. I'm back soon, and I, this is going to be a weird thing, but... In the age of female empowerment, I am on board 95%. And the remaining 5% is just that white women are very confident now. It's the point they, like, forget they're white sometimes, you know? Like, every time a white woman tells me about her getting catcalled, it's like her SNL audition with the blackest voice she could possibly do. It's like, yeah. I was just minding my own business, the guy comes out and no, we're like, Damn, Shorty, what you doing with that ass? Like, Holy shit! <laughs> is, is that what he talks like? He's like, no, he just had nice ass. I'm like, all right, what was that fucking spice at the end? <laughs> what was that? Is it like something that starts progressive and gets really not progressive? <laughs> it's like, I hate Trump. I'm like, yeah, I totally agree. He's acting like a nigger. I'm like, all right, well, the second part, I'm gonna be hot. <laughs> and I'm not saying that black men don't cat call. It's just like the story doesn't add up all the time. It's like, yeah, it was, Money on business at Bass Pro Shop. I'm like, all right, there's not a black man at Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> Dude, it's Puerto Rican at best. <laughs> all right, I gotta go. You guys are great. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah. 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 And you'll love this, everybody. Yeah. All right, please help me bring up your next comedian.